Hey yo, what's up guys, Noclipser here, and today I'm going to show you guys some ways how to level up on SL. This is top ways how to level up to SL from level 0 to level 2500. Now basically, um, I'm going to do this in order, so from level 1, from some level one, uh, 100 to all the way to level 2500. Now if you're just level 0, what you could do is just start off by getting this weapon right here, which is the shuriken, just by punching the log, and once you got it, just throw it at it, right? You throw it at it, you throw it at the log, after what you do then, is once you got enough levels, you want to get this mode right here. Now, you're still under level 100 or whatever you are, right? So you want to use this mode and go up to a training stone or a log and just hit it. Now, this may say they take this log, but it's a stone, right? Now, as you can see, the XP is going up by a lot, like a lot with this mode. So that's really freaking good. Like That's insanely good. Now after that when you got your um, levels right, when you're at least at least around level 150, basically what you want is either the uh, lightning style or the wind style. But for this video guys, I'm going to be showcasing the lightning style. Now basically with the lightning style, what you want to do is once you got that lightning move, which is the third move for lightning, what you got to do is hit the log or the stone, whatever you got right, with the lightning. So that's, that's pretty simple, right, with the lightning. And you keep hitting this until you get a high enough level. Now, once you got a high enough level, so you're going to probably do this for a little bit. Now, um, this is kind of slow. So if you guys want, you guys could do Arena X. Arena X levels you up a lot, like insane amount. And it gives you green coins. Now, if you get green coins, you could get these weapons that give you a lot of XP, like a lot. Now... Here are some weapons that give you a lot of XP. Now, the first one right here we got is this right here. This this one gives you a lot of XP as well. But what you want to do is turn on this mode right here as you're doing it. So as you're hitting the uh, log, you get this. So look at that XP. Look at that. That's going up by a lot, right? That's going insanely high up. That's really good. Now, what you want is you want to keep using this mode right here to XP farm. Now, when you're not using a ninjutsu, you don't need to use this mode. I mean, when you're using a ninjutsu, you don't need to use a mode. But what you want to do is, um, once you get high enough level to use, where is this weapon? Uh, let's see, let's find it. All right, so once you get high enough level to use this weapon right here, this weapon is insane. Like, this weapon is insane. Now, this weapon, I think you have to be around, like, level 900 or something. But, yeah, it will take a little time to grind, but you, I'm sure you will hit it just by doing that. Now with this, you get a lot of XP as well, like a lot of XP, it's insane. Now um, that's basically it with the leveling right here. Also um, with the weapons, that's all, that's all the leveling we got right there with the weapons. Now we got another way to level up when you reach around the level 1300 1, something, right? And what you want is ice release. Now, when you're around level 1,300 something, right? I forgot I forgot the whole entire numbers, but it's level 1,300 something. Right? Around that, you want ice mirrors. And once you got ice mirrors, boom, look at that. Boom, look at that XP. It's insane, look at that. And all you gotta do is just recharge, boom, keep doing it. Recharge, boom, keep doing it. It's really good, guys. Ice mirrors will get you to level 2,000 in no time. All you gotta do is do that strategy I'm telling you guys. Do that with the mode and then use the weapons. Those weapons right there is really good. And then once you got enough higher enough levels, you use Ice Mers. Now, for the people that have this game pass, this is basically the best leveling method. The best way how to level up on Shinobi Life. And all it is, is basically, um, is basically, uh, let me charge up my chakra for you guys. And the best leveling method is this right here. Boom. Sage of the Six Paths. It's a game pass, guys. Uh, the way how you get this is by the uh, more slots on Keke Genkai's game pass. And I'm not sure which one you need for it. I'm pretty sure it's either the th third one or a fourth one. But I'm pretty sure it's the third one because it used to be the third one. Or, the, or actually the second one, I'm pretty sure. It used to be the second one or the third one. I don't know, guys. I, I kind of forgot. But you guys can check out the description of it. It will tell you which one. Now, with this Kiki Genkai, what you do 
is you activate into this mode, right? You want this mode on. And once you got this mode on, what you want to do is use this Keki Genkai, go up to it. And once you're up to it, boom, watch this, guys. Look at that. Look at that deliciousness. That's insane. Look at that. This is insane. This is how you level up, guys. This is how you level up. Now, what I usually do with leveling like this is I combine it. So what I do is as I'm hitting, right, I use up my ice mirrors. I use my ice mirrors. And once I'm out of chakra, I just keep hitting. So I just keep hitting once I'm out of chakra. And once my chakra fully recharges, I'm going to use ice mirrors again. And this is basically what I do. This is what I do. It gets you up to a high, high level. It's really easy. But yeah, this is the game pass. They could get you to the highest level easily. You could always use ice mirrors and those other weapons I showed you guys that you could use. Basically, this one right here. Uh, the bone sword used to be good. Here, let's test out the bone sword real quick, guys. We're going to test out the bone sword if I wasn't lagging. Oh, there we go. All right. So we're testing out the bone sword. Here we go. So yeah, the bone sword is all right. Bone sword is all right, guys. It gets you all good enough XP. But let's see this sword right here as well. Boom. So this weapon is all right as well. Now, to gain these couple of weapons, now this weapon you unlock for free. This one, you unlock it for free. But basically, um, these swords are right here, this uh, this one, like all these other swords, you have to buy it with coins. This one too, you have to buy it with coins. But let's see if Diary's sword is good at all. When it does the black, oh god. Let's see. Yeah, I may have hit, hit the guy. Um, okay, all right <laughs> All right, but yeah guys, um, that's basically all I got with leveling uh, If you got the game pass just use The stage of the six bats if you got the game pass if you do not and got the game pass guys Then all you gotta do is just use how I showed you guys with the modes the ice mirrors the weapons and all that Also guys don't forget join BB studios for double XP and never forget to play Arena X if you like Arcane. Because Arcane, um, some people like it. You just go play Arena X and it will level you up a lot. Arena X is awesome. Each time you kill someone, it gives you like 2k XP, I'm pretty sure. Or something like that. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for how to level up on Shinobi Life. Thank you for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and peace.